electronic motorcycle news wrap up for April 2022 coming up. It's been quite the month for two-wheeled EVs. The first production motorcycles came off the line in April. I'm holding out hopes for these to be mass-produced in 2022. I think Saunders could be the leader in low-end electronic motorcycling, as the price is amazing and the specs meet most commuters' needs. Hopefully these ramp up and we start seeing them everywhere. Harley-Davidson released images of their middleweight Del Mar Aero S2 chassis. Uh, it features larger 2170 cells and should increase energy density greatly versus uh, legacy packs. Uh, it also simplifies battery management because there's fewer cells to manage. I can't wait to see what this middleweight chassis turns into hopefully later this year also. Is the lightning strike finally, really, going to be mass produced? Richard Hatfield says it's been a challenging last two years, but they are now ramping production. He shows off a photo of Strike Upper Triple Clamps fresh off a CNC machine. I've been hard on Lightning, but I hope this new openness continues. They've potentially got a great product. Ideonomics Investor Day. I somehow snuck into the boardroom at NASDAQ and chatted with Livia Sullivania, Shane McMahon, Alf Poor, and others. So we learned about Energica's future. Their goals with Ideonomics are to double production and profits every year for the next three years at least. That's on the conservative side. Uh, also, Energica is doubling their dealership locations in the USA starting pretty much immediately. They'll be providing each dealership with at least one demo model, which is important because demand has been so insane, dealers haven't been able to keep even a demo model on the floor, which has been a big turnoff for potential new buyers. Additionally, Energica Inside will be a new business unit specializing in cramming all that amazing Energica tech into vertical takeoff and landing, airplanes, boats, and other land vehicles. This is expected to be a highly profitable business unit, possibly out-profiting the motorcycle division. In the interest of full transparency, I am an Ideonomics shareholder. I just love what they're doing, and of course, now that they're with uh, Energica, how could I not buy as many as I could? And it's on sale. Pick some up right now. Cross-country electric motorcycle rides. I'm a big fan of these, you know. Uh, it used to be really rare that this would happen. We'd go years without them, and then, you know, randomly one-offs would, would occur. Uh, and then in recent years, we got uh, one or two at a time, and then suddenly last year we had six or seven crossings. Uh, well, in April, five and a half motorcycles crossed the United States in the month alone. Uh, Scott Harkless, on his dual inlet modified Zero, crossed twice, setting the first under 100 hour run on a Zero. Uh, Darren Swarnson flew across the US Southern Route on his Energica Ego Plus, and then came back after riding the Trail of the Dragon for a while. Uh, I set a new electric motorcycle cannonball run record on my old Rebel, the Mach Zero, with a time of 111.5 hours, breaking the Harley-Davidson Livewire's 178.25 hour record. Ducati released a sneak peek of their fully fared V21L electric racing motorcycle. It's neat, but it's probably going to be years before we see anything in consumers' hands based off this technology. Hey, either way, it's great to see the big brands finally starting to get on board with electric motorcycles. They have a lot of catching up to do. And finally, Elon Musk's announced he's going to start selling cars under the more recognizable Twitter brand. He's going to merge Tesla and Twitter together to lower operating costs. And in very sad news, while riding his CCS-enabled Zero across the United States, Sam Baker passed away. That's the continuation of this junkie's fun. This has been your April Zero Fun News Update. Here's looking forward to an exciting May. I somehow snuck into the boardroom at the NASDAQ and chatted with Olivia Selvolny, Shane, McM Shane McMahon, Alf Poor, and Stefano Batoni. And Stefano Batani. Stefano Benatti. I apologize for mispronouncing. I apologize for mispronouncing just about everything on there. Empty dealerships. That'll be uh, where's that reflection? At? Oh, okay. 